If we recognize climate change and the loss of nature as worldwide security threats, as indeed they are, then we may yet act proportionately and in time. The change needed in itself sounds immense, and of course it is. But we already have many of the technologies needed, at least for the initial changes. And perhaps crucially, we also have a level of public support and demand for action that I have myself never seen before. People today all over the world now realize this is no longer an issue which will affect future generations. It is people alive today, and in particular young people, who will live with the consequences of our actions. Politicians and business leaders know this too having seen how quickly and radically their societies and global activities were affected by COVID, it is now sadly easier to imagine some of the consequences of climate change. Perhaps the most significant lesson brought by these last 12 months has been that we are no longer separate nations, each best served by looking after its own needs and security. We are a single, truly global species whose greatest threats are shared and whose security must ultimately come from acting together in the interests of us all. Climate change is a threat to global security that can only be dealt with by unparalleled levels of global cooperation. It will compel us to question our economic models and where we place value. Invent entirely new industries. Recognize the moral responsibility that wealthy nations have to the rest of the world and put a value on nature that goes far beyond money. And through global cooperation, we may achieve far more than tackling climate change. We may finally create a stable, healthy world where resources are equally shared and where we thrive in balance with the rest of the natural world. We may, for the first time in the entire history of humanity, come to know what it feels like to be secure.